We started the day at the Comox Valley Art Gallery. It was actually very nice to see how easy it was to move around the entire area. And with the headphone feature, made it a very immersive experience and brought the whole exhibit to life. We went on to the Spirit of the West Art Gallery on Back Road. That was very easy to get around there. They've got an absolutely beautiful gallery. The whole thing was very accessible. It's simple to get in and out of the building. Lots of wide spaces to be able to move around easily. Beautiful items for sale. We went to the IHOS Gallery, another beautiful place with lots of First Nations designs. Just very well done. Our midday break at the Comox Marina is another opportunity to observe the beauty of the valley. You get a view of the mountains and outdoor areas in the valley that are accessible. The Old House Hotel was an incredible experience, very clean and easily accessible. Uh, the rooms are unbelievable, the amenities are very well done and moving on from there down to the pool area. The stainless steel rails into and out of the pool and the wide steps would make it very easy to get in and out of. From the hotel, we moved on to the Wayward Distillery. That was an interesting experience. The owner of the distillery, Dave, was very engaging. He explained the different processes to make these different drinks, so very interesting. We moved on to 40 Knots Winery for a taste test. Overall, fairly accessible. And yeah, with the glass tasting room, and it's a very nice experience overlooking the vineyard. Ace Brewery is very easy access and a good way to wrap a day like this up. <laughs>